Now we are at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. We only have an hour, so the lady showed us the most important things to see, such as the Western town. Brother's gonna play this cowboy game, and he can earn a prize in the gift shop when he's done. This section is called Playing Cowboy, and there's many games and toys related to the wild world. This exhibit has a lot of board games with the Western thing, but I don't think we've played any of them. These are really neat guitars. I especially like that one with the cactus and the cowboy on a horse. I like it when they put these special designs on musical instruments to make them look less boring. This section showcases toy guns. Since we're in a cowboy section, I'm gonna draw me with a cowboy hat, whipping cow moo. <laughs> Poor cow moo. Someone actually drew cow moo before me. But they said it's a horn. Oh my gosh, look at the similarity. It has the, that thing, and then it has the horn coming up. And then, <laughs> wait a minute. That looks exactly like cow moo. This gallery is called Art of the Northwest Coast. So I do think this is around the Washington and Vancouver area because when we were there, we saw many of these totem poles. This is pretty good artwork and it looks scary. There's two bears, but it looks like one got defeated. Look, cow moos are crossing the river. We're in the old western town. It actually looks so real like we're outside right now and it's nighttime. It is nighttime. Because those little white things on the ceiling look like stars and, and then there's street lights here. This is amazing. U.S. Marshal, let's go in there, the police office. Ooh, can I go in jail? I sure can. is the bank. Yeah. Every room you go in triggers an audio recording. No man. I used to work to tell bank till they closed up. And that is the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. My favorite part was exploring the Wild West Town because it really felt like you were outdoors. That was my favorite part too and I liked seeing all of the artwork in the earlier exhibit. There's so much of the museum that we didn't explore. There's outside Native American exhibits that are temporarily closed due to the rain, but usually they're open. And there's a whole east wing that we didn't have time to see. So you can spend many hours in this museum. 